Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome to today's mindset lesson. Thank you again for joining me for another video. Today, I wanna to talk to you specifically about stop putting things off. How wealthy would you be if you got a dollar for every time you said, one day I'll fill in the blank, someday I'll fill in the blank. Well, guess what? And I know you've heard this before, but someday and one day are not a day of the week. So I'm here to talk to you today about, well, ultimately stop putting things off because you're delaying what you want in life. So instead, instead of procrastinating and coming up with excuses and avoiding, I wanna share with you how you can dive right in get done what you want to get done so you can have the things that you want and so you can have and live your ideal life right now stop waiting for tomorrow stop waiting for next week stop waiting for january 1st most importantly stop waiting until you have all your ducks in a row because i want to share with you from my past experiences especially let's go back to when I was ready to quit corporate. I kept delaying and delaying and delaying. Here's the thing. There are times in life when you're never going to feel ready. You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to take a big leap. And that's what I want to share with you. I want to help you to feel the fear and do it anyway, to learn to let fear fuel you, not rule you. And that's what I've gotten so good at because I couldn't have the things that I have. I wouldn't have manifested my current desires and travels and money and experiences if I kept putting things off. So we'll go back to that example when I was ready to quit corporate. I delayed and I delayed because ultimately I didn't have trust and I doubted that it was the right time and, and should I do this? Number one, if you haven't yet, take should out of your vocabulary. It's not serving you. But when I, when I finally just, I had my resignation letter written for months and I finally just signed it one afternoon. It was a Thursday afternoon and I'd gotten another dreadful work assignment and I was like, fuck it. I don't wanna do this anymore. And I walked down the hallway, scared shitless, like sweaty palms. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Heart racing. And the moment I did it, my boss was super supportive, but after I did it, I had such a sense of relief and joy and excitement for the things I wanted in life because I knew there was no turning back. And I also talked myself into worst case scenario. So that's what I wanna share with you. If you're in the middle of wanting to do something but you keep putting it off because you don't quote, feel ready yet, ask yourself, what's the worst case scenario? And for me in that situation, the worst case scenario was I had to go back and get a nine to five. And guess what? I'm now three years in and that has never become my reality. But it's the moment, the moment you take that, that leap of faith, the universe has your back. As soon as you gain certainty, you take action by scheduling it, whatever it is that you need to do and stop putting it off that's when everything lines up for you. So that's my real message for you. In order to get what you want, you have to stop doing the things that are preventing you from getting there. So I want you to sit back and think for a moment. What is it that you really want? Like fill in the blank. This, there are no limits here. Do you want more money? Do you wanna start a business? Do you wanna ask for that promotion? Do you want the guy or the girl? Do you wanna move across the country? Write your book, like what is it? What do you keep putting off because you have this subconscious fear, doubt, worry that's getting in your way? So really take this time to reflect and think about it. And then once you know, once you are so super clear on that thing that you want, I am challenging you today, starting right now today, to schedule it, to schedule something in your calendar, whether it's to write the first chapter or, um, okay, the next time I see him or her, I'm just, I'm going to start conversation or when can you schedule a meeting with your boss to talk about next steps to interview for that position? Or if you want to start a business, you know, do you need to find a mentor? Do you need to, what are your next first steps 
and I want you to schedule them because by scheduling it and doing it, then you're taking those first steps to get closer to living your ideal life, to doing the thing you want to do. I also want to share with you, if you haven't yet, and I'm going to include the link below, I've created a free video series for you on how to get unstuck and create your ideal life. This is about creating lasting change. And I share my three pillars to literally get anything you want in life. And this isn't just mumbo jumbo. I know it works because I've done it and it's worked for my clients. So again, if you haven't yet, opt into my free video training on how to get unstuck and create lasting change. Thanks for tuning in to today's lesson and I'll catch you on the next one.